Now let's talk about the final attempt for classification of elements, which is the modern periodic table. Scientists had discovered that each main energy level from the seven energy levels, which you start with K and ends with Q. Each energy level contains a definite, a specific, a certain number of other levels, which are known as energy sub levels. And the number and the total number of energy sub levels is four. They are S, P, D, and F. So scientists reclassified the elements in a table known as modern periodic table. Elements are classified in the modern periodic table according to two factors. The first one is like that used by Mosley, is according to their atomic numbers. The second factor is related to energy sublevels. The second factor is the way of filling the energy sublevels with electrons. So we will discover later in this movie that the modern periodic table is classified into four blocks according to the four energy levels. Now let's describe the modern periodic table. The total number of known elements in the modern periodic table until now is 116 elements. Only 92 elements from them are available in the Earth's crust, while the rest are prepared artificially, are prepared by scientists in labs. The modern periodic table consists of seven horizontal periods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it consists of 16 vertical groups and 18 vertical columns. The reason for the difference between the number of columns and the number of group is group 8, which is found inside D block. This is because this group consists of three vertical columns. The three vertical columns are called group 8. So we have 16 vertical groups, but we have 18 vertical columns. The elements of the modern periodic table are classified into four blocks, which are S block elements, P block elements, D block elements, and finally F block elements. Let's talk about S block elements. S block elements, they are located on the left hand side of the modern periodic table. And as you can see, they contain two groups, which are group 1A and 2A. P block element, they are located on the right hand side of the modern periodic table. And they are arranged in six groups, which are group 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A, and finally group 0, which contains noble or inert gases. Let's talk about D block elements. They are located in the middle of the modern periodic table. And it contains 8 groups, which are called 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, group 8, which contains a 3, columns, group 1B, and finally 2B. They are 8 groups, but they are arranged in 10 vertical columns. D block elements also are called transition elements. And as you can see, they start to appear starting from period 4. We don't have D block elements in period number 1, or 2, or even 3. They start to appear starting from period 4. Finally, let's talk about F block elements. They are located below the periodic table. And they contain lanthanides and actinides. 
we have a very important and main question in any exam. Our question is how to locate the position of an element in the modern periodic table by knowing its atomic number only. It is possible to determine the location of elements of group A only in the modern periodic table by knowing their atomic numbers where the element period number equals number of energy levels occupied by electrons in its atom for example if we have sodium and we know that its atomic number is 11 it has three energy levels because its electrons are distributed in three energy levels 2, 8, 1 so sodium is located in period 3 the element group number equal a number of electrons in the outermost energy level in its atom let's return back to our example which is sodium the outermost energy level which in our case is M contains only one electron this means that sodium is located in group 1A example Locate the position of each of the following elements in the modern periodic table. Helium. We know that the symbol of helium is HE and its atomic number is 2. By writing its electronic configuration, we will find that helium contains only one energy level which is filled by two electrons. Because helium contains only one energy level, so it is found in period number 1. And because its outermost energy level is completely filled with electrons, because K is filled with two electrons, so it is located in group zero. This is because helium is an inert gas. So now we know the exact location of helium in the modern periodic table. So helium is located in group zero and period one. Another example, locate the position of each of the following elements in the modern periodic table. Chlorine, the symbol of chlorine is Cl and its atomic number is 17. By writing down the electronic configuration for chlorine, so it contains three energy levels, so it is located in period 3. Its outermost energy level contains seven electrons, so it is located in group 7A. So chlorine is located in period 3 and the group 7A. Now we will do another step. How to determine the atomic number of an element by knowing its position. For example, calculate the atomic number of the following elements. We have unknown element which is X, which exists in the third period, period number 3, and the group 3A. Because this element is found in the third period, so it contains three energy levels. And since it exists in group 3A, so its outermost energy level contains three electrons. So, the atomic number of element X equals 2 plus 8 plus 3 equals 13. This element is aluminium. Another example, calculate the atomic number of the following element. We have unknown element Y, which exists in the second period and in group 0. Since this element is found in the second period, so it has two energy levels. And since this element is found in group 0, so its outermost energy level is completely filled with electrons. And L is filled with 8 electrons. So the atomic number of this element is 2 plus 8 is 10. This element is neon. Thanks for watching. This is the end of lesson 1.